So uh, I put on my makeup to make myself look older and more tired. How'd I do? <laughs> I'm from New York originally. Why, thanks. <laughs> You're so warm. <laughs> you can tell I'm from New York, can't you? I have an accent, I, I know. I hate my voice because I don't think it's sexy. You know, I got an obscene phone call once and I actually felt guilty because I thought I turned the guy off. She's like, hi, I'm Mark, I'd really like to... What? <laughs> Do I know you? I don't think I know you. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was watching uh, the History Channel recently and there was a Hitler special on. Yeah, Hitler's getting his own specials, he's doing very well. <laughs> and they were saying that Hitler and Ava Braun had a good relationship. Gee, uh, I'd like to know who she was going out with before. <laughs> oh yeah, all those other guys were jerks. And then I met Hitler. <laughs> you know what's really depressing is that Hitler and Ava Braun had a good relationship and my husband and I are in couples therapy. <laughs> she could get along with Hitler. I can't seem to get along with a nice guy from Minnesota. I mean, my husband's a great guy. He is a great guy, don't get me wrong, but uh, let me tell you something. He's no Hitler. <laughs> we're so different from each other. Oh, man. You know, we were having this very serious conversation recently. We were discussing drafting our living wills. And my husband said to me, honey, listen, uh, if I'm ever in a coma, I want you to pull the plug. And I said, well, uh, you better start talking a lot more then. Because I can't tell. <laughs> Marriage is very difficult. It's tough. It is. My parents were married for 63 years. <laughs> you know the secret to longevity of my parents' marriage? Outlasting your opponent. <laughs> I want to see you die. No, I want to see you die. Well, we'll see. My mom was a terrible cook, you know, really bad. We, it, we were always complaining about her food. It got to the point where this is how she had to present every meal to us. Here, there's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> wow, you should go into sales, mom. <laughs> so uh, my husband and I have a little girl. Yeah, we have a little girl, thank you, yeah. We adopted a little girl from China and uh, I tried getting pregnant, I did, I was about 45 at the time, and uh, my doctor was a little concerned about my age, so she ran a lot of tests and called me into her office, she sat me down, she looked at me very seriously, and she said, Kathy, your eggs are old. I said, gee, well, uh, so's your diploma, but I'm being polite. <laughs> yeah, my husband had a vasectomy and my eggs were old, so we decided to order out. <laughs> Chinese. Yep, I'm 52 and I'm raising a four-year-old. I'm in menopause and I'm raising a preschooler. <laughs> Excellent planning. <laughs> we are such completely different stages of our lives. She's toilet training and I'm losing bladder control. <laughs> the other day she asked me to blow up a balloon and I had to change my pants. <laughs> I wish that was a joke. Oh, how I wish. <laughs> I was in New York, I was visiting my family recently and my aunt said to me, so you're gonna raise your daughter Jewish? I said, no, we're just gonna raise her to be a good person. And my aunt said, that's terrible. <laughs> it's exhausting having kids. People warn me, but there's no way that you really know until you actually have a kid. You just can't know. But I will try to describe to you how exhausting it is to have a four-year-old. I had to get a colonoscopy recently, and I checked into the hospital, and I laid down on the bed, and my very first thought was, oh, this is so relaxing. <laughs> You've been a great audience. Thank you so much.